face à l'opinion. Information, idées, débats, prise de position, la transparence. And uh, it took a while uh, under Jean-Claude Duvalier for us to really be able to use a little window of opportunity that was uh, uh, opened with uh, the arrival of Carter, uh, Jimmy Carter. President Carter tried to go along with the human, human rights. And for them in Haiti, human rights uh, was related to the money the American was giving. So they allowed us to, and we profit from that. We went faster, further, giving speech to the people. We started talking about a number of events taking place in Latin America at the time. And uh, it was amazing how Haitians started following the story of Somoza in Nicaragua. Of course, they said, oh, Somoza looked like Jean-Claude. <laughs> oh, the Shah of Iran looked like Jean-Claude. There is something familiar. And more and more, true foreign news in Creole, the outside world open to their mind, but also the inside world, because they were quick to understand that when a bunch of Nicaraguan people said no to Somoza, they were quick to understand that they were not only Nicaraguan. <laughs> but in 1980, Carter was losing ground. Mr. Ronald, you know him? Was winning ground and they smelled it. They said, the time has come, human rights no more. The cowboy are back in the White House. <laughs> and you know that the Makut were fascinated by the cowboy. It was the end of the Haitian Spring. November 28, 1980, the military police came into Radio Haiti with the Makuts, and Jean was not at the station at the time. They were looking for Jean. And uh, around that day, around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I had gone out during uh, between 10 and 3, looking for Richard Brisson, looking for other uh, people from the station who were rumored to have been arrested, uh, and I couldn't find any information. We started broadcasting around 2 o'clock in the afternoon the fact that Richard Brisson had, been, had disappeared, the fact that we could, no long, we could not find this person, that person, the fact that we were looking for Jean. Uh, two hours later, uh, the military police came in, and they uh, arrested everyone present at the station. They started destroying every single piece of equipment there was in that station. Soldiers shooting at a mixer, shooting at a record player, you know, smashing with their machine gun. They broke a lot. We heard them breaking things inside. Uh, the station was no longer on the air. Everyone, all of Haiti could hear only uh, a very strange sound, a tuck, tuck, tuck that you hear when the record is stuck. Mais nous sommes pendant dans l'école là. Tu as un professeur qui t'a expliqué et bah radio Haïti Inter, le te vinn arrêter mon yo et puis c'est la question après bat pas te poser la question dans salle classe là. Et elle est sortie après, elle me dit, professeur, je vais vous demander, est-ce que vous avez eu l'argent ou bien vous avez eu l'argent? Tout le monde de Radio Haiti a été pris à la caserne des Salines, où les hommes militaires se sont questionnés les prisonniers politiques. Mais quand nous étions là, j'ai entendu les torturer Richard Brisson. 
In fact, uh, one of his ears, uh, he could not hear from one ear after that uh, torture session. Uh, they started torturing also another one of our journalists, Compère Philo. There were orders by Jean Valmé to shoot Jean on sight. Jean vient réfugier dans l'ambassade du Venezuela. Moi-même, en exil au Venezuela. De l'aéroport, il directement là-bas. 